bullet hits or whatever. Visual effects, if you do it right, should be a part of the conceptual process because if you are going after the unseen, then planning the unseen uh, should involve the visual effects design. And Larry and Andy understood that right away, so they brought me in. It went during this, this time of development. We were speaking before of the sort of impact that comic books can have in terms of their frozen graphic moments. What we really like about slow motion is that it sort of brings some of that quality to, uh, to action scenes. But what we also like is we like to move the camera. So we, we started off and we had this concept of shooting something in slow motion and moving the camera at regular speed. And Bill Pope, the, the pussy, <laughs> wouldn't strap a rocket to his back. <laughs> the discussion was we put a rocket on, you know, on a, on a dolly so that it zooms real fast. Well, that wasn't really practical because you know uh, uh, you wouldn't really be able to focus and see the see the the, the the shot. So it had to be some sort of effect. Somewhere along the line, they connected up with John Gate. I don't know how. When we started preparing the first movie and started looking for a visual effects crew that would work with us, and we went to all the you know usual suspects. We went to ILM. We went to Digital Domain. We went to all these entities that are are you know, well thought of in the, in the world of visual effects. Gated was not part of that group. I mean, he was outside that world. You know, they showed their boards a few places. Each time that they had done that, they, they tended to uh, have a similar reaction. Faces turned white or some uh, proposal for a physical camera invention that would e effectively end up with the camera exploding because it would have to move too fast, it would be, you know, uh, connected to a rocket sled or something like that in order to achieve their shots. John's idea was to replace it with hundreds of still cameras so that that's really what a moving image is, is a hundred still images. He can make it look like a motion picture image rather than a still image. Bullet time is basically like mind over matrix moment or a moment where we can see, you know, time in, you know, the speed of light or the speed of sound. But I remember the first test I saw was an exploding trash can, and he froze the flames and the explosion in, in midair and moved the camera all the way around it. Yeah, bullet time was really the technical hurdle, but the, uh, the conceptual, you know, Nut to crack was the portrayal of the real world, which was, oddly enough, the most bizarre part of the movie, which 